everyone, welcome to a new video again. Maybe you've noticed it and I've been uploading a little bit more content on YouTube and I've been really enjoying it. The only thing that I was thinking because I do a lot of all different things that I am cleaning up, then I am blindfolded. So what I wanted to try is to make everything a little bit more personal, a bit more for like what I'm doing in my life and see if people or you would be interested in any of this. And if you have any other ideas, please let me know because I would like to upload more. Um, but I also wanted to be to make sure that the content is good, well filmed and everything. Um, so today I wanted to bring you and introduce you to a new horse I'm riding. Uh, maybe you know, maybe some of you don't know, I do a lot of horse shows because I do a lot of trick training um, and just training in a really positive way I'm trying to. Um, and I now have of course Andorra, Macho, they've been doing a lot of shows and I absolutely love it with them. Um, but of course I also need to give them a break sometimes and I also want to show different things and with different horses. So I have Antares as well, he's been with me for like three years but I always took it kind of easy with him and now he's starting to join me sometimes on events as well. Um, but now I also have a really exciting other horse that I'm riding. It's not my own horse, it's a horse from someone else. Um, the owner of Kingsley, the brand as well. I'm riding a horse, it's a Lusitano, um, it's Gallo. And Gallo has a bit of a special story because Gallo um, is a really beautiful yeah, Lusitano buckskin. He used to do bullfighting um, and the bullfighting is of course... I mean, I think maybe a lot of people can have different opinions about it, but I don't think it's really right for any of the animals, at least. And Gaio is also always a little bit... Yeah, has a bit of tension in him and is a bit more aggressive sometimes. So that's also why I'm riding him now, because he was ready to do some different things, have fun with the riding. What I'm now trying to do is to ride him just without my, uh, without the bit, so with my bitless bridle, uh, without the saddle, do some tricks with him, just play around. Of course, I also do some of the higher level exercises, but more... They don't have to be perfect at all, as long as he wants to do them. So I'm really excited to introduce you into him, because you will be seeing more on him on my Instagram, on YouTube, and anywhere, maybe, hopefully, events. He came with me once before, and I was really... he. I think he really enjoyed it, and he really liked it, and it was really cool to see. Um, so I'm really getting to know him still, so... Yeah, I'm really excited, and I'm excited to show you who Gaio is, what he's like, and everything that he already knows. I'll finish my emails now and then I'll go to the stable. He's at the same stables as where Matt's horses are and I'm gonna ride him there and then I'm gonna introduce you to Gaio. So we arrived at the stables and Gaio is in the paddock. Hi Gaio. Hey. Okay so I'm very excited to show you Gaio. Gaio is a Lusitano gelding and he came from Portugal. He is now maybe around one and a half years in the Netherlands. He <laughs> likes to smile and do some other fun tricks. Okay, let's get him ready to ride. So I brush him a little bit. As you can see, he's clipped and has a really nice collar. And he never really likes to stand still. He always wants to do something. Um, so he needs to learn that a little bit still to just relax and enjoy everything. At the moment, I ride Gaia just with a bareback pad and bitless most of the time. Um, just because I really like to feel the connection with him and I really want him to have fun with the riding and of course no pressure and no force at all. When Gary just came, he of course knew a lot of things but he was always a little bit tense. And that means that he was always a little bit tense in a way that he never really liked to stand still. He was a bit busy in his mind. And as you can see, I will put the bitless bridle on him and he's always busy with his mouth. So you can see him now already, the lips are going everywhere. Um, and it's also with the riding. So with the bit or without the bit, he's always a little bit busy with his mouth. So that doesn't mean that I put a lot of pressure on him. That is just him a little bit at the moment still. Okay, let's go. I usually try to start with a little bit of groundwork, so I want him to focus on me, I want him to have fun. In the beginning when I tried to do something with the whip, he was just really tensed and he was almost shaking or almost got angry at me, so I just tried to do some fun things. So that's also why I do the Spanish walk. It might not be perfect yet, but he definitely tries and he has a lot of fun with it. Who needs stirrups? Okay, as you can see I warm him up a little bit, but don't focus on that he sometimes goes a little bit deeper or he's a bit... Busy still in his mind because when I just started riding him, I found that he was a little bit busy and I felt like everything had to go with a lot of pressure before he actually did something. And I, of course, never want to do that. So now I just try to get him relaxed. Um, but if I don't ask anything, um, I can't help him either. So that's why 
I am still trying to get him a little bit around and with me. But with him, the hardest part for both of us is that <laughs> now I what? just want him to have fun. That if I don't do something that he just wants to relax. Or if I want to play with him, that so he starts to offer things it. without being scared. And that is really what we're focusing on. So I wanted to show you a little bit of a part from some exercises that we're trying to do. Don't focus on that he might sometimes get a bit tensed or something else. It is already a thousand times better than it used to be. At least that's what I think. excited to see where Gaio and I will go so my goal with him is that I want him to have a lot of fun but also do some more tricks with him to do some riding without the bit as I'm doing now but I also hope that one day I will be able to ride him with a neck rope and for him to be fully relaxed and have fun and enjoy every single moment so this was a little preview from Gaio I really hope you liked watching him I'm really excited to show you the road to what I really want to do with him because I always want to try to focus on everything that he does in a positive way and stimulate him from there and in that way I hope to get really far with him.